to drive a car, it has to be registered. It's no different for ships. Merchant vessels must be registered with a specific country known as the flag state. According to the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, that country is still responsible for inspections and enforcing regulations such as fishing restrictions, regardless of where the ship sails. Vessel owners are required to have a genuine link to its flag state, but each nation decides who has the right to fly its flag. This is known as flags of convenience. We often do this to take advantage of, of, of uh, issues around minimal regulation, cheap registration fees, uh, low or no taxes, freedom to employ cheap labor from the global labor market, and then access to more ports. The practice is legal, but its growing use raises concerns about overfishing and exploitation. In 2018, Cameroon had only 14 ships in its registry. Today, it has 129 registered vessels, with a large part from China and increasingly the European Union. Vessels flying under the Cameroonian flag can access more fish along the West African coast. So let's say uh, we are comparing a fishing vessel flying a Latvian flag and one flying a Cameroonian flag and both are fishing in the Gambia, for instance. Uh, the Latvian vessel must abide by existing fishing agreements uh, set out by the European Union, which means they can only fish for tuna and hake in Gambian waters. But the Cameroonian vessel, since its agreement with Gambia is more lax, can fish for any species. Panama has the largest open shipping registry with over 8,000 vessels followed by Liberia and Marshall Islands. Another concern around flags of convenience is that once a ship changes its registration and flag, its history basically gets wiped clean. The European Union issues yellow or red cards to crack down on illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing. Countries with red cards have their seafood products banned from entering the EU. As of May, nine countries have been issued yellow cards and three have been given red cards. The United Nations and other international organizations have been calling for greater transparency and enforcement of those exploiting flags of convenience.